All right, everybody, and welcome back. Um, those of you who are are watching probably realize this this episode was recorded right after the last one, but it won't be up on the same day because we're trying to spread them out um, day to day, day to day, because that way, you know, just makes more sense that way. Uh, but I understand those of you that want to watch all the videos in a row and so are waiting for the playlist to be complete. I totally get that. Don't have an issue. I would do the same thing if I'm watching a channel. So let's continue on. We're going to go to the Serpent's Horn. Um, I imagine... So, Mimir, why did Freya spin your face? No. Speak of Balder. He claims nothing harms him. Aye. Balder is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. The boasting of a god. Everyone has a weakness. Not him, I'm afraid. Baldur is blessed with invulnerability to all threats. Physical you just or said that, Mimir. You just said that, Mimir. Oh. <laughs> what is the source of this power? Well, as I recall, it involved uh, a spell? Mimir? Parts of my brain must still be coming back to life. Just need a moment to finish waking up. Yeah, I, I'd imagine this is not going to go smoothly because, you know, it's a video game and nothing ever works. Um. I knew Balder would be coming back. Obviously. What Come happened? Here. We're in the lake. Perfect. Dock us near the bridge. Was that like that the first time? Okay, maybe. It just looked like it was broken. I got scared for a second. Oh, I did mean to look up where those arrows... Ed, how do we speak to the serpent? There's Before a horn on a platform at the middle point of the bridge. Take me to it. Finally, that horn! Oh yes, it was a minute ago that we, uh... were wondering about this horn, and now we get to... looks Good. like we get to use it. I put it. my lips to the horn. I don't trust Mimir. But, he seems a little useful. Why is he doing that? Odin had that statue made in honor of Thor. And seeing as the world suffering absolutely abhors that fat dauber, <laughs> he was probably sick of looking at it. But... Doesn't that hurt? Well, he and Thor have a bit of an unpleasant history between them. Or they will, anyway. I guess waking up to see it was worse than the thought of lumps of solid stone passing through his gullet. You want me to ask him? No. Our only concern is Jotunheim. Hi, Mr. Serpent. Listen closely now. We need two things to get us into the land of the giants. First, we need to learn the travel rune that opens realm travel to Jotunheim. Second, we need to carve that rune into the special gateway. Is that one of the people who first met you? Correct. 
except the giants in their infinite wisdom saw to it that no ordinary chisel would do the job. Only the tip of a magical chisel opens that gate. Luckily, I know where it is. It's not far. He looks kind of mad for a moment there. Now that, I thought I said you were friends of Odin. You'll forgive me, but I've never spoken the ancient tongue sober. <laughs> That, the ancient tongue just reminds me so much of, um, if you guys have ever seen Finding Nemo. You can see more of the realm towers and statues. I haven't seen new places to explore along the shore. Where is this chisel? Find me a boat, and we'll go from there. Um, Finding Nemo with Dory was like, I can speak whale, and she's like, That's my impression of whale link. So, you're welcome. Alright. Jormungadr. Yes, it would be helpful if you knew how to speak a whale. Oh, wait, am I going the right way? Yeah, when we get to the boat, maybe. We can either look for that special chisel now, or go exploring for a little while. I'm happy with whatever you want to do. Hmm. Well, exploring is cool, but I think we're probably just gonna go. Which way to the chisel? On. Keep rowing towards the statues of the oarsmen, then thread past between them. Though maybe we'll stop right here, because it does look like there's something over here. Amir, you never did tell me why Frey spit in your face. Well, she blames me in large measure for her present circumstances, and not totally without reason. It all goes back to the long war between the Aesir and Vanir. Prior to that, wars for the Aesir were easily won, but the Vanir were proved their right equal here. and exacted devastating damage. Enough. No stories. Not while on foot. Our focus is the road. Come. Apologies. If uh, you wanted to hear that, I. Did not realize that it would cut out because of this, so... Oh, something's up there. Now, if I remember correctly, this is gonna cause enemies to spawn. And it might not go so well. Holy crap! Those enemies seem a bit tough. So we will. Yeah, uh, we're gonna come back to this one in the near future because those enemies are a bit tougher than, uh, I thought they'd be. So, we're gonna wait on that, um, and we're gonna go up. Because I used all my thing, and then I got hit really quickly. Oh shit, is that a dragon? Ah, I always wonder what became of him. Very one. But Sindri said he was a dwarf. He was. And now he's a dragon. Funny how life works, isn't it? He's chained up. Uh we should keep an eye out for binding shrines and free the poor bastard. Hi, lads. I I mean I'm scared. Do we want to go do that? How how hard are those enemies? What enemies? Oh. Oh, those enemies are a lot tougher. Okay, I'm trying to free you, Mr. Dragon, alright? Mr. Fafnir. So, I'd appreciate you joining my side. At least that didn't do much damage to me. These enemies aren't 
aren't as difficult as the level sixes. I think that's because I'm level four. Alright, Dragon, Fafnir. Hey! 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 You're not- you're not being very helpful here, Dragon. I'm trying to help you. Alright, it looks like this is something- do I just- destroy it? How did your right. friend become a dragon, Amir? Oh, he's no friend of mine. This little scroat was a constant source of annoyance amongst Aesir and Vanir alike. Then why free him? Trust the recently liberated brother. No one deserves to be held captive like this. Even a greedy little dwarf come dragon. Oh, well, that's probably true. Oi, I'm trying to help you, Fafnir. So, I'd appreciate it if you stop being such a little shit. And let me help you. Fuck! That thing is huge. Yeah, that doesn't seem to be doing much damage. You would think that'd work. You would be wrong. That worked. A little bit. Well, he's taking a little damage. Oh shit, okay, alright. Well, that was frustrating. Can I mark this area on my mini map and then come back to it later? You've never answered the boy's question then. How did this dwarf become a dragon? I don't know for certain. Though I'd wager his penchant for stealing magical artifacts had something to do with it. Must have stolen a trinket from the wrong bag. We'll try it one more time. Maybe Spartan Rage mode or something, I don't know. Or he can do the old destroy it without fighting him, actually. Doesn't seem to want to let me do that. Oh, for fuck's sake. I was trying to destroy it and then just like leave and not have to fight him, but. Did not seem to let me do that. And that didn't count as a completion. Alright, we'll give it one more go. I, I really just can't get hit. Brother, get up, brother. 
All right, we're coming back. I'm not gonna bore you with just countless deaths. That enemy is not easy. Okay, so we'll just leave and then come back later. Let me put, mark it on the map or something. Where are we? Okay, I can leave it. Sorry, Fafnir. Here. Boy. Oh, this was not the escape. Or is it? Maybe it was. Yeah, it was. Wait, I don't think that marker got added. Or not the marker, but the lore piece. Did it? Okay, it did. Just didn't pop up. Alright, so there's a couple tough enemies over here, so we'll come back to them when they're not so tough. Or when I get stronger, I should say. And we'll advance the main story. Well, first we're gonna stop right here, I guess. Maybe? Nah. Nah, we'll stop there later. On the way back. Hey, Mimir. Last we were in a boat, and we just started the story. What did you want to tell me about the long war? Both sides suffered tremendous losses. And for many of us, quite frankly, war was simply no fun anymore. But a rather senseless waste of precious life. Wouldn't you agree, brother? You what? I'll tell this one later. Um, taken from this realm too early. You who walks among the living, my beloved Gulving calls to me. She yearns for peace, yet her remains lie in pieces. I beg of you, make my Gulvig whole again. You want us to collect her bones? Gross. Gulvig say their magic knows no bounds. She can reunite you with those you've lost. Really? How? Boy. I can smell your grief, child. Rest assured, her magic is strong enough to create bridges between life and death. Bad idea. If only for a short while. Boy, we are leaving. They've taken three of Sweet Gulvig's bones and spread them across the lake. Bring me her bones, child. Gulvig will reward you. Whoa! I don't like that. Oh, I guess I didn't mm, not need to go this way. Ah, good. The special chisel is ahead past this gate. Oh fuck! <gasps> Fucking dark elves. They're here in this area. Ridiculous. I have a fight. Ah! I wasn't quite sure we'd see dark elves. Oh, 
There we go. Finish him off. Ew. There's still more of them. Distracted by this fool's errand. Yeah, this thing is stupid. Well, now we're gonna check what's in this here. Chisel we seek. What is it? I think. Are we going the right way? Oh no. Um, where is it? The anatomy of hope, okay. There's two of the three, and I think the third one is right there. Yes, that is correct. Alright, and then this looks like where we're supposed to go. I'm glad you asked, actually. I have just the story for you. This not the right way. There was a giant once named Fambo. A very giant who, despite his mountainous size, was without question the greatest stonemason this world had ever seen. Proud Thamur hoped to one day pass his vast knowledge onto his son. But young Rimthur had the heart of a warrior. Perhaps the father had too much fear in him, or the son too little. Either way, a quarrel of theirs spiraled out of control, and the overworked stonemason, bonk, struck his son. Arimthur ran off into the night. Feeling shame and regret, Thamur chased after his son. But in his emotional state, soon found himself wandering Midgard, lost and alone. Sadly, he caught the eye of the one person he didn't want to meet alone that night. So far from home. Thor. And? What happened next? You'll see. Thor's a little douche in this game, I'd imagine. Thor killed him. Oh no. He fell in the village? Aye. When Thamur fell, he crushed a charming place famed for worshipping the Vanir god Njord. Thor always took credit for planning that one. The truth is, the sweaty ball bag just got lucky. What did my map do? Oh, fucking stone gate. Okay, fast travel is available. Oh, good enemies. A dangerous beast. We will take him down together. Another one? Ooh. Boxing match. Anything around here? Ooh, a hidden chamber. 
I have no idea how to open those. I'd imagine we'll learn eventually. Looks like that crystal's running again. Alright. Load up. Ah. Uh, cool. Oh, neat trick, lad. We'll also check the other way. Just to make sure that there's not a chest hidden over here. Up oh, there is a chest hidden here. Another hidden chamber. Oh, Thamur was a frost giant. When he dies, six his final seven? breath throws everything. So I have six of seven <laughs> hidden chambers. To me. I think. That seems right. Or maybe they're the same. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Um, what's this? There's a lock something. Probably a good time to level up. Let me... Uh, I have a lot of XP. I want to be able to shoot more arrows, I think. Yes, like this. I've been using it a lot. It's been um, quite helpful. There. Alright, that's maxed out the combat. Anything here? I like that. Sounds good. We're gonna update that. The shock arrows are dope. And there we go, that'll finish it off. Alright. Because I like the shock arrows. It's very cool. Oh shit. Uh oh. First, we're gonna check out. Yep. <sighs> I'm just fucking paranoid now about enemies jumping off. Rare chest armor. Ooh, this increases strength and defense. Lowest cooldown. But. I think I'm gonna up. Yep, I'm going to. Because. I'd imagine that, yes, there is a. Uh, Thing to increase cooldown here, but let's look. We haven't really been pairing. Um, health bursts, burn damage. We're gonna do this one. All right, if we might have a cooldown thing if we get lucky. Wow, we have no luck. That's annoying. I think I'm going to switch to this. Yeah. We'll lose some strength and a little runic, but not enough to write home about. And we can just change the socket. Um, oh, there is no socket. That sucks. But uh, it's not terrible. Right, I'm gonna switch back to this now because I ha I haven't had as much need for um, that ability. All right, there we go. And I've been dodging more, so that'll be more helpful, I think. Chisel. That's the magic we need. Feeling there's gonna be some enemies around here. It's, it's making me cold. On your mark.
Oh fuck, there's a up this way. Ew. There's an ice and shit. I sing shit. Alright, now we'll take on the I sing shit. Ugh, rude. Rude. I'm not doing so smooth here. All right, unlock from this. Fuck me, man. Sorry, this has not been a great um, battle so far. So hopefully we can uh, make up for this. Increase resistance of frost. Right. Oh, there's still enemies. Alright. That was a terrible battle. But we survived. Look at this. Um, lowers cooldown. That's annoying. Not socketable. Also annoying. But increases strength. Yeah, we're gonna do that. We're gonna do that. Now we're gonna take a little time to explore. Hopefully without too many enemies because. Well, we just had a big ass battle. An all fine light crystal. <gasps> oh, sorry. Oh gosh. All right. What do I need to do? A little more difficult of a runic puzzle. Upside down R, okay. Now I need either the triangle or the forward E. Now I need you to go read that. What does it say? <laughs> Ah, yes. It was believed that Njord calmed the winds and seas for the fishermen. For that, they loved and worshipped him here. What'd that do? 
anything. Hard to say. Yes. Well, here's the base for the crystal we saw. But how do we get it down? All right. <sighs> Looks like we throw this at the crystals. Blow it up. And we'll drop it. Pick it up. So much work. Jeez Louise, Kratos. This it can't be that heavy. Holy fuck, that frost giant's big. Whoa. Put it in there. <laughs> Aim and fire. Oh gosh. Alright, fuck it. Oh, we didn't have to fight anything. Cool. All right. There's some flowers. Now we're looking for the last little thing. All right, where was that heart of the tree sap? Right there. Pick it up. Run over here. And now we can go underneath. Something will be there. Not sure what, but something. Chest. And some hack silver. Alright. A lot of that. What is that? Oh, increased damage of all axles by 6%. So sweet enchantment. Um, where do I put that enchantment? Do I have to even... I might not even have to place the enchantment. It might be automatic. I'm not quite sure. All right, that looks like all the things in this area. Is there a way to tell? We got resources. Or special items? I don't know. All right, whatever. All right, now it looks like we can go forward. Oh shit. That was rude. Freaking nightmares. Trying to scare me. Head of Thammer. Ooh, something underneath it. How are we getting down there? Very carefully. I have a plan. You do? Do not act so surprised. Not a good well, plan. No offense, brother. But I don't even think Thor with Mjolnir in hand could get through that much ice. Then Thor is a fool. This should be entertaining. Boy. Right. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Let's use this.
taking some damage here. Oh, there's more enemies. Oh, for fuck's sake. Well, that was fucking shit. Yeah, that was not in or easy, I must say. I mean, I, I don't think I was ever in real danger of dying, but still, anything in here? No. Stupid. Alright, let's go talk to Sinji. I think I'm gonna upgrade some stuff because, uh. Ew, look at his nose hairs. Wow, that was uh, something that the. Uh, fight. Here, catch. <laughs> Well, that was a waste of a perfectly good hour. How were you not seen? There is nowhere here to hide. Oh, that. It's a little trick my people can pull. A special way of not being seen. You can be invisible? More like I can step into the realm between realms. And your mind doesn't understand what it's seeing, so it sees nothing at all. That's how we avoid ever having to actually use the weapons we craft. Doesn't seem to work on dragons, though. <laughs> Your brother wanted to know if you're getting enough to eat. I guess I could turn you off. Brock was asking about me. Was there meat on his bread? <laughs> <laughs> Kratos, such a douche. You let him touch this again. Come on, then. So that's how Brock was in the temple right after the water. He stepped between rows. Okay, now, shush. I need complete silence for this. There you go. All right. We will. Get out of my way, boy. What that blow up? Anything? Oh, I think I see it. 
Ready? Come on. So, this plan of yours. Can you guess it? Knowing you, it doesn't involve standing around here. Correct. How do we move forward? Seriously? There we go. Jeez Louise. Careful! My shop's right here! Stupid. Alright, I do want to upgrade stuff though. What can I do for you two? Chest armor. Oh, I can craft. These epic armors. And these shitty things. But I need smoldering embers, which I do not have. That's annoying. I don't know if there's any point in... Searcher's Grip. Legendary. But again, smoldering embers. Well, I mean, why not? I have it equipped. Who knew? All right, I don't have a frozen flame. Yeah, my young man. I don't have hardened whatever. We'll upgrade the quiver. Because why not? Wrist armor. Upgrade it. I don't suppose you can try keeping that clean. Upgrade it. That looks amazing. Because why not? I mean, I don't know. Doesn't seem to be a reason to not do it. Well, I have enough, but it doesn't seem worth it. So I'm not going to. Like, what's the point? Now I can buy stuff. Tears Revenge. The Breath of Thunder. I do not have enough for that. Oh my gosh, I want it. Look at that. That looks sweet. I'm not sure what enchantments do. Um, I could buy 25 fucking soft steel. Alright. I can sell stuff. Again, though, doesn't seem to be any reasons. And that looks like all we should do here. What are we on time? 50 minutes. Alright. This seems like a good stopping point. Um. Definitely, this video should be up before E3, so I'll just, I'll do my little spiel again. Uh, in case, I'll do it quickly, though. If you guys, probably not starting on this video without having watched the others. So, we're a podcast. Every Friday we record. E3's coming up. Gonna have a lot of special things. Join our groups, Discord, and, or Facebook, or Twitter. Um, and ask questions. You can be right on the show and you can win stuff. But you have to contact us if you win. So you can get, claim your prize. Um, we have an email as well. Uh, all of that is on Twitch. That's the easiest place to find links to everything. But I'm going to drop links to Discord and Twitter and Twitch in the description. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for joining. And I'll see you guys on the next episode of God of War.